Within our communities, we still continue to see and experience ethnic clashes and divisions, domestic violence, stray animals, substance abuse, land conflicts, competition for resources, poverty, and many others that have wronged the communities in Tika and in the settlement of their peace and cohesion. The International Day of Peace 2023 commemoration is therefore a call to action and we are being called to take action as individuals, as institutions, as government and as the communities as well as uh, the international bodies like the UN uh, Peace and Security Council. Peace is not automatic. Peace requires action and the action that we must take must be very deliberate. Some of them have already been injured by the previous speakers. We need to put deliberate effort into education. That is one way to achieve your lasting peace. We need to put deliberate effort into food security because a hungry person is an angry person and you cannot talk of peace when there is hunger biting all around us. We need to take deliberate action to institutionalize peaceful coexistence.
assistance in our operation, refugee operation. I'm happy we have made this progress, and I said earlier by one of the speakers that this is the first of its kind that we are celebrating uh, International Peace Day in this nature within Rhino Camp Settlement. It is because we have never prioritized peace and peaceful coexistence as a sub theme that is really critical because without peace there's no development. Peace remains the rock for any development. And peace starts with me and it is our fundamental job to ensure that there is peace and so we need to recommit ourselves to promoting peace in our communities, in our families, but peace in the world. It is time to take action and now is the moment of action. I wish to thank OPM and UNSCR, the district, all the partners here present and those who are not present, the leaders and uh, all the individuals who worked together to organize the International Peace Day in Rhino Camp and making it colorful. Thank you, thank you very much. I also wish to thank Opian and Yenechera for giving the opportunity to step and wait now to lead the organization of this year's International Peace Day. As a local organization, there is a lot of reservations usually, but we appreciate the gesture from Opian and Yenechera for trusting us with this responsibility, and I hope the evaluation will tell how we have performed. And uh, I also wish to thank the people of Tika Zone for accepting this responsibility of hosting the International Peace Days of Rhino Camp in Tika Zone. And I am very, very much overjoyed with the compliments and the com communications coming from the leaders of Tika Zone. Tika has made it clear, I hope UNHCR and OPM has taken note of that, because we say names, names can follow us. Tika has decided to change his name, and it is allowed right from the time of, uh, of uh, Jacob. Jacob was sent to Israel, and so if Tika requires that you change the name from Tika to Peace Zone, please let's go now that because they have a great Let's put our hearts back to our partners. Really, really, these are very hard partners, and they have not been easy. I'm so happy that uh, you partners united and brought for us this big celebration in my zone. I'm excited. I don't know. I'm beyond excited today. It's beyond excitement. Um, regards to the past, anyway, there are no scenario up anything. Are those already gone? Case there's even no need to repeat it. I'm, I'm adding my OPMs, uh, I think should be even the last, even even your partner can say, no, no, forget about it, Tika is no longer a war zone, and we have deleted the name Tika, conflict does not exist, we call it peaceful zone, peaceful zone, any partner feeling, or any partner will be having activities to be implemented in Tika, Holy, you are, will be implementing activities in a peaceful zone, not in a war zone, that that is no longer existing in even a profile of UNSCR, even OPM, should be deleted completely. I'm happy that... I the war zone we used to know, and thanks to the people who came before us to do the wonderful job of reconciliation, and we have continued we shall continue to work on the results that are now on the but we want to say that Tika is now a peaceful zone. And thanks to the peace for being able to see it. And uh, this is the point. Next year we shall also collaborate with the International Peace Day. I hope another local radio will also think over that. Otherwise, I don't have more I just want to say thank you to all the partners for all the wonderful work you've done and to all our guests for turning up and also to the community for making this day a wonderful one. Thank you for God and my country.
Oh, my God. 